Welcome to the lecture series on uh, mathematical modeling, analysis and applications. In the last lecture, we have discussed uh, this uh, population dynamics modeling and uh, how we can just uh, formulate uh, like uh, uh, cell division model using a differential equation that we have discussed. And uh, in that lecture, we have also discussed uh, that uh, how we can just uh, achieve the steady state solution also. And the steady state solution that depends on like uh, resources available and uh, this resources how it is just uh, acting inside the like population growth level that we have also considered. And uh, in this lecture, we will uh, discuss about uh, continuous time models in a uh, population dynamics. So, like for uh, different uh, uh, structures that is uh, first we will just go for like chemostat. In the last lecture, uh, I have given the overview about chemostat also. And uh, in this lecture, we will uh, discuss about uh, uh, in detail how chemostat is uh, acting for this like uh, population growth rate or uh, like decaying rate. Then uh, in the second phase, we will just uh, discuss about formulation of uh, chemostat model. And in the third phase, we will just uh, discuss like dimensional analysis of a uh, chemostat model. And in the final phase, we will just go for uh, like uh, non-dimensionalization of chemostat model. So, if we will uh, just uh, go for like uh, the introduction of a chemostat, chemostat is nothing but uh, is, it is a device used to study the behavior of microorganisms with limited resources availability. This means that the chemostat can be represented as the rate of influx of uh, nutrients F into the system and uh, which can be accommodated within a volume V and then it can be extracted out as a rate of efflux of nutrients F and the total system whatever it is just occurring for like a supply of a food and uh, this uh, like uh, the cells utilization and what is the output it is just coming the total system it is called chemostat. So, chemostat is uh, basically a wire reactor to which fresh medium is continuously added this means that like we can just say that if sufficient oxygen can be supplied uh, to a medium then this uh, cells will be growth in a uniform way. So, like if you just see our like uh, knee joints, there also this requires like uh, uh, supply of uh, like external agents to get the activate activation of this lipids and uh, it should have uh, like a uniform growth uh, for that. And uh, this is basically called uh, tissue engineering scaffolds or like uh, tissue engineering bioreactors. It has been used uh, for uh, chemostat process. And presently, we are just discussing this chemostat, which is uh, just used for like uh, culture of the cells. So, culture of cells means two types of uh, cell cultures it is used naturally. It is one, it is called continuous culture technique, one is called base culture technique. And uh, we are not going in detail for that, but uh, for in a general sense, if we will just discuss here, chemostat is basically a bioreactor to which a fresh medium is continuously added like as I have explained suppose oxygen is supplied and the liquid inside chemostat is continuously removed in order to keep the volume inside the chemostat constant. So, whatever it has been since the container or the volume it is constant there. So, according to the like um, um, conservation of mass we whatever this amount it has been supplied the same amount it can be flux out there. And the liquid inside the chemostat should be well mixed so that conditions are homogeneous or uniform and this make it a self regularized. That is when nutrients are more than microorganisms, it accelerate their growth. Definitely if it will not properly mixed then we cannot find a like uniform uh, structure of uh, this um, all the medium there and uh, this uh, growth will be hampered. When they are in a sufficiently large numbers, they compete for nutrients and make them to reduce in number. Since the total volume of chemostat should be constant, this make nutrients to increase. This process repeats in cyclic manner in order to keep chemostat volume constant there. That is at steady state we can just find that in a cyclic form we can just find that always we will have like a uh, constant level it should be maintained there. 
and this concept of chemostat is widely used for uh, drug delivery systems. Especially when this uh, drug delivery is uh, applying, then there is a uniform distribution of uh, this uh, nutrients or uh, this uh, chemical or uh, whatever this uh, drugs it should be supplied to our body, it should be maintained. So, if you will just go for this mathematical representation of a chemostat, then already in the last lecture we have discussed that this growth of population level that is defined as a dn by dt which is written as like a k into n of t, where this k is the like a rate of change of population at that level we have just considered, where if the resources are available or this c is the concentration of resources we have just considered then we are just considering k as a function of c there and uh, our model is a directly defined as in the form of like k n of t ok dn by dt no? so dn by dt it is just defined as in the form of uh, k into n of t and uh, where this uh, k is dependent on like this uh, concentration level or uh, c is uh, available there or the resources available there. And uh, even if uh, this uh, population level it is just uh, changing with respect to time, we cannot say that this population growth rate it is just uh, actively participate or actively it is just occurring inside the system. Since if we will just uh, see here, we have just uh, added a factor minus fn here. So, which represents the total mixed outflow there. This means that inside a container and inside a volume, whatever this change of population with respect to time, if you will just consider that the that depends on this total population size n multiplied with this like proportionality constant and whatever this outflow it is just occurring over there also. Outflow means we can just uh, say that the flow in there with the nutrients and it can just uh, take out some of this concentration of the population from the system also. So, that is why we are just writing here the total mixed outflow as defined as flow rate of f into the concentration of population n there. So, maybe some dead cells are there or some of the active cells that can be removed out with the flow there. And we are assuming that bacteria are properly or well mixed with resources in chemostat. This is to make like mixture of resources and uh, bacteria to be spatially independent and hence they are only depending on time and therefore the model will be formulated by ordinary differential equation. Since uh, we are just considering here this is change of population or the change of uh, uh, cell uh, number that whatever it has been just uh, change with respect to our proportionality constant with the total population size and whatever it has been efflux out from the system. And uh, now think if we will have like a non-uniform distribution or it is not properly mixed inside the system. So, many constraints it will just come into the picture that may be in the next slides or in the next lectures we can just consider many restrictions it will be just followed to deal that model. Similarly, in the second uh, equation if you will just see here that we have just assumed uh, this uh, concentration or the limited resources whatever it is just uh, available there that will just also get changed with respect to time since uh, this uh, cells that will just consume these concentrations. And this concentration change which effectively dependent on this uh, minus alpha k c n that we have just uh, discussed uh, in our previous lecture. That the, the, that uh, resources it will be just uh, used by this uh, cells. So, that is why it will just uh, get uh, like uh, reduced there depending on the population size n. And finally, we are just uh, adding a term that is minus f c which is a uh, represents the decaying of total resources or uh, decrease of the resources. And uh, f c 0 we are just adding an extra term which is just depending on the initial storage of resources that depends on whether it has been used by the cells or some remaining portion it has been used by the cells and it is kept there that depends on plus FCG. So, if you will just uh, go for this uh, dimensional analysis of uh, this chemostat equation, we can just uh, find that this equation n dash t which involves k, n and 
minus Fn there, that is the flow rate out and which can just uh, take out the total population size or the population size, some of the population size it can be just taken out. And if you just see here end st, end st is nothing but which can be just defined as dn by dt there and dn by dt that depends on this number per volume over time. This means that this change of number of population that completely dependent on this volume of the container and with respect to time how it is just getting changed there. So, that is why this uh, dimension it can be just defined as a number per volume into time and k of c that is a, your uh, rate of change of uh, like um, population level that depends on time only. So, that is why it has been defined as uh, 1 over time there and uh, the number means that is a total number of uh, population or the total number of uh, cell size that depends on the number for volume there and uh, f that is a flow rate which depends on this volume over the time. And uh, if you will just uh, substitute all these dimensions in uh, this equation here to verify this correctness of equation since uh, it is very essential to do this dimensional analysis for all of these differential equations to get a solution. So, we can just find there is inconsistency is preserved inside the system since if you will just put all this uh, uh, dimensional numbers inside the system we can just find that this whatever this dimension we will just get in the left hand side this is not equal to the right hand side. So, that is why it is a imbalanced system or a inconsistent system. To correct this problem we need to divide the flow rate f by the volume v there. So, practically we should define the flow rate for unit volume instead of a flow rate for uh, instead of a flow rate. So, for that what we will do is we have to correct this uh, like uh, uh, chemostat model and uh, for that what we will do is we will just divide f by v in the right hand side and then we will have uh, like a corrected equation here. Since, if you will just see here the left hand side it is number for volume into time this equals to k is 1 by time into n is the number per volume minus f is the volume per time into n it is a number per volume into time. So, if you just see here volume volume can we cancel it out. So, this left hand side this is number per volume into time this equals to number per volume into time minus if you just see number per time square only. So, if we want to find in a complete sense here that is a number per volume into time, number per volume into time. So, this one is a number per uh, time square here. So, f is defined as here volume per time, f is volume per time, then we will have like n it is a number per volume, number per volume this one, sorry this one not time, number per volume here. So, this will be time here, number per time only. So, we will uh, we'll see now this uh, number per volume into time this equals to number per uh, volume into time minus number per uh, time here only. So, that is why there is a discrepancy of uh, or there is a like a deficit of uh, this volume here. So, that is why we have to like uh, divide here volume to get it in a complete dimensional situation or uh, to analyze this uh, correctness of this dimensionality we have to divide the volume in the final term. So, if we will just divide this volume here, then we will have this equation like d n by d t which is defined as k c n minus f y v into n there. So, now we can just have a complete dimensional model and if you will just see this second equation here that is just defined as like c dash t equals to minus alpha k 
n minus fc plus fc0. We can just uh, see that this uh, c dash t or like a concentration with respect to time change which can be just defined as a mass per volume into time. This equals to alpha which is a defined as a mass per number into k, k is defined as a like 1 by time into n which is just defined as a number per volume minus this is f by v, f is written as volume per time into c, c is defined as here mass per volume divided by v here, so v is defined as volume here plus f by v if you just see here f is written as also volume per time and uh, into c0, c0 is a nothing but a constant here. So, divided by volume is defined as volume here. So, if you just see here, so first one it is mass per volume into time, then this is also mass per uh, number into time number number it will just cancel it out. So, we have will have now mass by volume into time here. Then if you will just see here then volume volume it will just cancel it out. So, if you will just see here this is a mass per time into volume and if you will just see here this is a just defined as a f is a volume per time by volume into c0 which can be just written as a mass per volume here. So, volume volume cancel it out. So, this will just give you mass per time into volume. So, now it is a perfectly equal for dimensional analysis. So, finally, we will have this a mass per volume into time, this equals to mass per volume into time minus this is a mass per volume into time plus this is a mass per volume into time. So, perfectly equal. So, if you just go for further analysis of this chemostat equation, we can just find that this is a dimensionally correct now and in the previous model we have analyzed the rate of reproduction per unit time k was linearly depending on the resource of concentration. So, already we have defined that one k as a like k c we can just define and this imply, implies that for high amount of resources the bacteria population will go on increasing. Since if the available resources it is sufficient there then this population level will grows it off. So, does it happen practically especially no. Since if you just see here we need a function k of c in such a way that it has some saturation limit resources are available up to certain limiting value. After that you will you can just find that whatever this resources it will just grow up or it can just come to the picture then it can be utilized in a uniform manner. Especially if you will just uh, see that uh, suppose uh, one deer population it is just existing for a practical sense if you will just see and suppose uh, available grass it is there. So, then this deer population it will just get increased if a sufficient grass is available to them. And if suppose this deer population level will get increased in a high level, then there will be a shortage of grass. And uh, after certain time you find you can find that they will just uh, struggle each other to find the food and some of the deers will die out there. And if some of this population will die out again this resources it will be available there since the grass will like grow up and it will be like um, up to a level that this deers can eat. And this will just balance this nature in such a fashion that this resources will be available to them in such a manner that we will have a like linear growth rate. And uh, if you will just uh, consider such type of models, then one such type of function it is just considered in the form of like k of c where this available of resources or this concentration which depends on this rate of change of this population which is defined in the form of k max into c by k n plus c where k n is a constant parameter 
which balances this k max value and c value here. And this function saturates to k max when k n tends to 0, if you directly we will just also put here k n tends to 0 here, then k of c especially this is tending to k max here, since c by c equals to 1. And uh, if you will just assume that c equals to k n suppose, then the function will half of the saturation value. So, this function is defined in such a fashion that either a maximized value or it will just give the half of the value of the saturation we can just achieve. And uh, in the graphical sense if you will just visualize this one, so it is just represented uh, in the figure here. And uh, this function is known as uh, Michaelis maintain kinetics and uh, this model with this kinetics uh, will be given as like if you will just replace here dn by dt as k c n minus f by v n here. So, it can be written as k is replaced by k max into c by k n plus c here into n minus f v by n and d c by d x d c by d t it can be written as like minus alpha into k. So, that is why k max c by k n plus c into n minus f by v c plus f by v c 0 here. Now, we if you will just observe these equations, the parameters if you will just uh, see here, the parameters are like k max here, then k n here, then f it is present, then v is present, alpha is present and uh, k n it is also present there. So, uh, two more uh, times we have just written here k n. So, k max then f, v, alpha and k n. Now, let us uh, do the non-dimensionalization to reduce the number of parameters, especially we have just uh, discussed in one of your, our uh, earlier lectures about this uh, non-dimensionalization things, when we have just used this uh, uh, discrete logistic model. So, there we have uh, used this uh, reduce of parameters to get this uh, two parameters to one parameter solution there. So, especially this non-dimensionalization is uh, made to reduce this uh, parameters. To reduce the number of parameters, uh, let us rescale all the variables that is in the form of like n equals to n star into n 1 here and c equals to c star into c 1 and uh, t equals to t star into t 1. If you will just uh, see here that n star is the new variable, c star is the new variable and uh, t star is the new variable c here. And especially we can just write this uh, variable n star as n by n 1 here and uh, c star can be written as c by c 1 here and uh, t star can be written as t by t 1 here. And if you just see here all these variables whatever associated now newly that is n star, c star and t star all are like dimensionless variables here. And uh, if you just see here n 1, c 1, t 1 all are parameters which are taking this uh, dimension null values here. This means that if n has certain dimensions, n 1 has also certain dimensions and if c has certain dimensions, then c 1 has also certain dimensions. And when we are just reducing directly to the variables in the form of n star, c star and t star, which will provide us a new equation which is free from this uh, like dimensional variables. And the chemostat model with new variables, if you just put these variables uh, in the equations, then directly we can just replace here n by n star into n 1 and uh, d by uh, this t can be replaced by t star into t 1. Similarly, c can be replaced by c star into c 1 and n can be replaced by n star into n 1. So, similarly we can just replace in the second equations also, the non-dimensional form of this equation can be written as in this form here. And uh, since uh, all of this n 1, t 1 and c 1 all are constants, so we can just uh, take out these terms uh, outside this differential operators which can be written as n 1 into d n star here and uh, d of c star c 1 it can be written as c 1 into d c star and uh, d of t star t 1 it can be written as uh, t 1 d t star here. So, after uh, putting all these terms, so finally this equation will be reduced in the form of uh, d n star by d t star if you just see here. So, this uh, n 1 and t 1 it has been taken out and uh, obviously, it can be multiplied in the uh, right hand side as a t 1 by n 1 there. So, t 1 by n 1, so that is why n 1 got cancelled out 
and uh, T 1 it is just multiplied there. Similarly, in the second equation if you will just see here. So, T 1 if you will just multiply here also T 1 by C 1 the same one we have to do here also T 1 by C 1 here. So, it can just cancel it out and T 1 by C 1 it can be multiplied here. So, C 1 it will just cancel it out and C 1 it will just cancel it out here. So, that is why T 1 can be multiplied here. So, T 1 can be multiplied here, T 1 can be multiplied here and C 1 obviously it will be there. So, this is the factor completely you can just get. Now, if you will just see here the total number of parameters involved in this uh, model are like T 1 k max k n by C 1 f by v alpha and C 1. So, the total number of parameters are still same, but some of these parameters has been changed since this division of terms are there. If we substitute suppose here C 1 equals to k n since k n is the arbitrary parameter and we can just change according to our flexibility. So, if you just replace this uh, k n by C 1 here and uh, T 1 by V by f we will get rid of 2 parameters here and uh, thus we will leave with only 4 parameters here. And uh, now, if you will just proceed that uh, we can just consider n 1 in such a fashion that alpha n 1 into T 1 into k max by C 1 equals to 1 suppose if you will just consider for a like a particular case. Then we will have like n 1 can be uh, calculated as C 1 by alpha T 1 k max which can be written as also f k n by alpha k max into v. So, if you will just uh, do this uh, uh, new model after this non dimensionalization it will be reduced in the form of like d n star by d t star this equals to alpha 1 c star by 1 plus c star if you will just see the previous model here we are just replacing all these variables in terms of uh, this uh, alpha n 1 t 1 k max by c 1 this equals to 1 there. So, that is why this will be reduced in this form here that is a uh, d n star by d t star equals to alpha 1 c star by 1 plus c star n star minus n star here and d c star by d t star this can be written as minus alpha c star by 1 plus c star into n star minus c star plus alpha 2, where alpha 1 can be written as like v by f k max and alpha 2 can be written as c 0 by c 1. So, here we will have like only 2 parameters alpha 1 and alpha 2. Now, all the parameters and variables are dimensionless. So, easily we can just obtain the solution. So, we will write the same model without since this n star or any parameters we can just put there. So, obviously, we can just replace star as in the form of like uh, n there and c star as c here. Then obviously, this model will be reduced in the form of d n by d t this equals to alpha 1 c by 1 plus c into n minus n and d c by d t this is uh, just represented as minus c into c star is replaced by c here. So, that is why c by 1 plus c into n minus c plus alpha 2. So, in this lecture we have uh, discussed about uh, this uh, chemo start modeling and uh, how we can just uh, develop a chemo start uh, uh, or a bioreactor using this uh, cell culture technique and uh, which is uh, uh, restricted that the medium should be properly mixed we have not considered the inhomogeneity or inhomogeneous mixture here and which restricts many conditions. So, that is why we have not considered that one. And, uh, we have just considered that this uh, uh, resources should be properly mixed with bacteria suspension to avoid this bacterial dependence with respect to time it should have a uniform change. And if it does not happen so then it will lead to a partial differential equation instead of uh, ordinary differential equation. And uh, in the second phase we have just discussed uh, the different equations which is uh, uh, in the form of a differential equation and uh, which can be used for the formulation of a chemo start model. Since uh, in the earlier model we have uh, not considered this uh, outflow conditions that uh, if there is a inflow of uh, all of this uh, resources or like some of this uh, cells. So, efflux conditions are uh, like outflow conditions we have not restricted. So, that is why this uh, formula has been get changed or this uh, formulation of a differential equation got changed. And then we have uh, tried to non dimensionalize uh, this um, chemo start model with a uh, various uh, parametric values. 
and uh, finally we have obtained a non dimensional equation based on this uh, total number of a population size or like this uh, total number of cells with this uh, limited resources of concentrations. So, in the next lecture maybe we will just go for the solution of uh, this uh, chemostat model and uh, all other stuffs. Thank you for listening this lecture.